Hello, welcome back to another week of Vineyard Kids and Youth Online. As always, it's game time. So for this game, what you need is to go and get a something to write on and something to write with. So you go and do that. We'll just we'll just wait here for a sec. Just, dun, 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 dun. We'll just wait here while you go and get. That's enough time, surely you've got it now. I've got a piece of paper. I've got a joke prepared. Okay, right, now you're ready with your piece of paper and your pen. What you need to do is we are going to give you a category and you have 30 seconds to write down as many things as you can in that category and we're going to do the same. And then we are going to read out what we have got on our list. And if yours match those, you cross them off and you get no points if you match what we've got on our list. So you then get points for whatever remains. So you've got to try and think a little bit outside the box, a bit unique. Okay, hope that makes sense. Yeah, the first category is animals. 30 seconds, go. Right, so our first category of animals, let's see what you got. So if you've got any of these, you need to cross them off, okay? So you don't get any points if you've got any of these. So we got pig, donkey, tiger, elephant, dog, cat, mouse, chicken, rhino, horse, snake, and rabbit. Okay, so if you if you got any ones that were different from those, you get a point for those. So top up how many points you got, how many ones that were different to those ones, and then that is your score, that's for, your that score for that round. We've got two more rounds. The next round is colours. Go. Right, okay, let's see what you've got for this one. So if you've got any of these, cross them off. Okay, we have got blue, purple, orange, yellow, pink, teal, brown, black, gold, gray, and indigo. Okay, so if you've got any of those, cross them off, and then add up whatever you've got left, and that is your score for that round. Great. Okay, next category is, and last category is, things you take to the beach. Go. And stop. Great. Okay, so for that round, we got buckets, spade, umbrella, sunglasses, swimming costume, surfboard, bat and ball, picnic, and a blanket. Great, so if you got some different ones, add those up again. Now, you should have three different scores from the three different rounds. Put them all together, that is your grand score. Uh, and basically, we want to see who is the best at this game as a family. So put your score up, your total score up on the Vineyard 53 Facebook family page, and we will see who is the ultimate champion for this game. Great. So for the last few weeks now in Vineyard Kids and Youth, we have been looking at Paul and a little bit of Peter and just what they did to set up the very first churches. Yeah, and so they set up these churches, they're traveling around. What they tend to do is they set up a ch church, they plant a church and then they move on. Uh, and though this means that these churches are kind of stuck 
doing all this stuff on their own. Uh, and they can't exactly call them up or FaceTime them. They have to write letters. So these letters are what make up the rest of the New Testament of the Bible. So there's loads of them from Paul, from Peter, from John. Uh, some of them are to churches, some of them are to individuals. Timothy gets a couple. Uh, and they're amazing letters because they are basically explaining what to do and helping these churches. And they might be having things that they don't know how to do or what to do about a certain situation. And then these letters are written to give them advice and to uh, tell them all about Jesus and help them follow Jesus. And it's the same for us. We can read these amazing letters and it just is amazing. There's so much wisdom and it can show us what Jesus is like and what it look like looks like to follow him. So we thought we'd have a little look at some of those letters now. Timothy, post. Oh, yes. Let's see who it's from. Oh, it's from Paul. Very nice. Now, let's see what he's got to say. Hello, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't let anyone look down on you because you're young. Okay. But set an example to others by what you say, how you live, how you love, and what you believe. Very good. Thank you, Paul. Uh, is this the church in Rome? I've got some post. Yes, thank you. See you later. My love, we've got a letter. Oh, post. Thank you, that's what I read. Oh, it's from Paul. Oh, let's see what he has to say. Oh, that's, oh, he's good, isn't he? Just because God forgives you doesn't mean you should keep on sinning and making bad choices. When you follow Jesus' way, you find real freedom and the best life. It's hard to make the best choices and live God's way all the time, but the Holy Spirit can help you. Amazing. Oh, it's a letter from John. What does he have to say? Dear friends, God loved us so much he sent Jesus to die for us. So we should love each other, because love comes from God. No, I do not want beans on toast. You are a bad cooker of beans. Hello? Oh, thank you. A letter has just arrived. I thought you might like to read it. From James. Uh, mm, good timing. Think about what you say. The tongue is a small part of the body, but it's powerful. Think about how a small spark can set a big forest fire. The tongue can also be like a fire. So be careful about what you say to others. Mm, I'm sorry. I forgive you. Wife, wife, come and listen to this, what Peter, Peter sent us. Post? Yes, a post from Peter. He said, God chose you to be his people. You are God's special treasure. God brought you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Wow. Amazing. I pray that the Holy Spirit will make you strong and give you his power. I pray that you will know how much Jesus loves you. Wow, Paul, thanks for that. Wow, so there is so much in these letters. There's so much wisdom in there, so much incredible advice, so much encouragement, and so much just like telling us how loved we are, how precious we are to God, and how he wants us to live, and how we can shine for him. Um, and it's just, it's they're amazing. It's definitely worth um, a read. Um, and what we thought would be great to do now would be to give you guys a go at writing your own letters. Um, so you can do this on your own or as a family together. Um, what we would suggest is pick someone that you'd love to write a letter to. It can be someone from church or not from church. Um, maybe start by encouraging them, telling them some things that you just love about them that are amazing. Um, and then maybe what would you love to tell them about Jesus? Um, and just write that down. Um, and it, yeah, make it encouraging, make it loving. Um, and then if you want to send it, you can. If you don't, then that's totally fine. Um, but yeah, we'll give you five minutes to go away um, and do that. No.
Great. We hope uh, that was really fun to do as a family, to think about what you want to tell people about Jesus and encourage people. Um, I'll just pray now. Uh, thank you, Jesus, that uh, the Bible is full of amazing things. And I thank you that there's all these letters from these people to these churches and to these other people. Just there's so much wisdom. There's so much uh, just about you, Jesus, in there. And I thank you that you've given us that. You've given us the Bible so that we can see who you are and what you're like. Amen. Amen. So we would encourage you, as always, to go now and uh, worship. Uh, there's stuff up on the Vineyard 53 Families Facebook page. Uh, and that's it. We'll see you next time. Bye.